So the first thing I do to prep my skin is use my 100% pure cucumber juice cleanser and it's 100% natural and 100% vegan. It's also cruelty free and it's made with a bunch of wonderful natural ingredients and it's been amazing for my skin and you can just tell by the glow right here. I'll leave it in the description if you guys are interested so you can read more about it but it is really good for your skin. So the first thing I do is apply some of my eyebrow pencil and this is my favorite eyebrow pencil. It's by Nuance Salma Hayek and I'll leave a link for this as well. I use the color medium dark and it matches my eyebrow color really well, especially since my hair is just growing out naturally. I've been using that a lot. And then for eyebrow gel, I use my 100% pure green tea fiber brow builder and it's just a really good gel for your eyebrows. It's 100% natural and it adds little fibers to your brows so they look bigger and it keeps them in place all day. Then I use my 100% pure BB cream. I love this so much. It has SPF 15 and I use the color Luminous and like the brand says it's 100% natural and it's been amazing for my skin. 100% natural is like my all-time favorite makeup brand especially since I'm switching over my makeup to all natural products. This is an amazing brand if you guys are interested in doing the same thing. Using the BB cream and the face cleanser together have made my skin incredible and I've started to get rid of like acne scarring and everything so that's really awesome i'm really grateful for that then i'm using a blush here this is the mac blush baby blush and i know mac tests on animals and it does have quite a lot of chemicals in it but i'm trying to finish it up and i've hit pan so i'm almost done with it then just like any other person i just apply mascara and i curl my lashes before so i don't spend a ton of time showing you guys how i do this but i'm using my all-time favorite mascara which is the cargo boundless lashes this is my second tube of it when it lasts forever and you get a ton of product in it and I absolutely love this. Then I'm using my Becca Brightening Corrector and it's just a nice peach tone, especially for my pale skin. It's not too peachy so it looks darker than my skin and um, I like it a lot because it covers up dark circles while it still moisturizes the area so it's really helpful and I like it a lot. It doesn't crease very much either. Then I'm using my RMS Beauty and this is the bronzer. I can never say the title correctly but it's their only bronzer and I love it so much. And I just apply this under my cheekbones, on my forehead, and under my jaw, and I just blend it out, and this just gives me a little bit more of a chiseled look, and a little bit warmer of a look, especially for spring and early summer, I think it's really nice. I'm going to the Dominican Republic on Thursday, so I'm excited to bring this with me. And these RMS is an awesome brand to use if you travel a lot like me, um, because they're really small pots, but you still bring a lot of product with you. And I also used a little bit on my nose just to add a little bit of a contour. I don't know how much this does for my face, but to me it makes me feel like I'm bringing my whole look together by adding some to my nose as well. Then I'm using my RMS Beauty Living Luminizer, and this is their highlighter. I'm obsessed with this. This is an amazing highlighter. So I use this on my cheekbones and on my nose. Then also on my cupid's bow, and then I also go ahead and add a little bit onto my eyes. And RMS Beauty is 100% natural as well. Then for lips, I use my Jordana Rockin' Rose Lip Liner, and I just apply this to the outline of my lips, and then I fill them in just a little bit, and it'll just add some color to my lips. I love these colors on my lips, they're my favorite for my face, and that's what it looks like so far. Then the very last step for my eyes is applying the last color in the Naked 2 palette. I just add a little flick at the end of my eyes, it kind of opens them up and makes them look a little bit bigger. I started doing this when a lot of my eyelashes were falling out after I permed them and I just kind of stuck with it and I like how it makes my eyes look. Then I just blend it out so it's not super harsh. Then the last step I do is apply my setting spray which is by Skindinavia. And that's the final look. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.